don't want to be blind. Well, the point, the thing is, is like, it, it can be um, a one it's me. You can talk about whatever you want, but we can start now if you want. And we can talk about personal stuff. So, like, I come from coaching this morning. I can mention that. Yeah. But not necessarily. I can say Luton Town ladies, but not yeah, what team. Do you know what I mean? You can say you personal want. stuff. Yeah, you can say whatever you right, want. Okay. Yeah. We've yeah. actually started right now. Oh, This is wow. already begun. So, okay. hello. Right. Um, I'm Luton Deadpool. And we have today uh, my co-host, who's going to be on most of the podcast. So, please introduce yourself, sir. Hi, I'm Jack O'Shea. Um, I've been a good friend of DP here for... Oh, Long time. A very long time. That's <laughs> all you need to know. Um, so, yeah, that's a bit about me. Okay, and then we have our guest today, who is a worker for the Bedfordshire Hospital Charity. I always get that wrong, I swear to God. It's so quite long, to be fair. Yeah, no, it's not really, though, is it? But I always get... Anyway, so please introduce yourself. <laughs> Hello, so my name is Sabina Hazel, and I am Schools Coordinator for Bedfordshire Hospital's NHS Charity. There you go, that was beautiful. <laughs> Well done, well done. So how long have you worked there for them for? Oh, about three years now, working okay. officially in this role, three years. Okay, yeah. that's good. That coincides mm-hmm. nicely with when we sort of started. Yeah, to be it? honest. So yeah, I think it was sort of around about April or May of lockdown, which was 2020, I believe. So we're now, yeah, so yeah, a couple of years ago now, yeah, I think, is when we started. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it seems so long ago though, didn't it? Yeah, yeah I, know, I, know, I know. Seems forever. It was, it was it so much fun. It was so much fun. I can't really remember... And like obviously I came in later. Um I didn't actually like start with you guys. No. Um because who who was the starting people in the group? So there was obviously, obviously I don't know if we should say names. We won't say names just in case they <laughs> don't want to reveal the their identity. Yeah. But um so myself, I was Batman. Um and we started with an Iron Man and okay. a little Power Ranger, and then Spider Man come on board. Well actually Spider Man was there at the start, sorry. Mm-hmm. Then we got a Robin, um, we've got Deadpool, we had Captain America at one point. Um, we had quite a few. We had, uh, who else did we have? I think um, in the web, we had Wolverine, eight or nine. Wolverine. We had Wolverine. Yeah, I had Wolverine for a bit. Oh. Wolverine. When my suit split, I had to be Wolverine. We had Mini Spider-Man, <laughs> Mini Spider-Girl. Um, yeah, we had, I think we had about 10 yeah, or 11 at one point. Good group. We had yeah, a good yeah, group, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it was brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. I remember our first conversations and talking, you know, and it's like, oh my God, these superheroes, they want to go out and just bring yeah. some cheer to Absolutely. people in such a difficult time. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I was saying to you yesterday, um, you know, looking back on, on my notes from our first conversation, it's like I was talking to Batman. Yeah. <laughs> about, yeah. yeah. And then we had the whole panic about the street license. Absolutely. Oh my God. And it was just like, no, I wanted to get out. I wanted I to be able to get out. And it was literally like next day or in a couple of days, wasn't it? When, when we needed, when you yeah. needed it. And um, they pulled out yeah, they, strings for us there. They yeah. really, really did. But exactly. it was yeah. honestly, it was one of the best times of my life doing that. It was, it was incredible. I mean, I just can't believe how quickly it caught on. Um, and it generally just started from a, like I say, a couple of us just only being able to go for a walk and saying, yeah. hey, look, should we do it as a giggle yeah. on some costumes? And yeah. next thing you know, my phone's going off. Can you stop at this house? Can you <laughs> stop at that house? And yeah. that was literally the first one. So then it was like, right, we're going to have to break down to areas now like of LU2, so yeah, Stopsley, yeah. Wigmore, Puttridge. Um, and then we even had to break the areas up. And it, it, yeah, absolutely crazy. Like how, and then if we know radio stations were getting in touch, the, the news, ITV yeah, news. Um, my phone yeah. was just going off the hook, to be honest with you. But <laughs> it was, um, oh, it was brilliant. Absolutely. And the amount of money we raised, oh, I think it was seven God, and a half grand in the yes, end for the charity. It was a monster amount. Like, um, yeah, when I came in, I think it was about three, three or four grand. So you guys already raised like, way more than half the final figure before I came in so I don't want to come and say no 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 no, no it was a great honest, effort it was all no, of us honestly I just want to say like about that group it, the work that took place behind the scenes at the very start I did absolutely nothing other than put a suit on and run around and that yeah. was it but <laughs> the stuff that everybody else was doing was insane like you and Zoe with your planning of routes like um, and obviously we had, I can't, I don't know if I can say, I should, I'm really saying Zoe's name. Yeah, no, yeah, I don't, <laughs> I don't know if we're known. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, uh, yeah, but then he's unrevealed, definitely. Um, but no, you're right, everyone had their own job and everyone sort of did their own bit. And that, I know that all of us as well at some point, where the other people couldn't make it, so we'd had like people saying it's this person's birthday, can you make it? One of us would go because the others yeah, couldn't and we yeah. still make 
an effort. Do you see yeah, what I mean? Yeah, but fair yeah. play, the, the parents or the carers would always throw some money in the pot. So yeah, all them yeah, little yeah. trips added up. And I know that me and DP here, we made a little trip to, um, again, I don't, I think we're sort of going to get in trouble for this one, but we made a couple of trips to Harpenden, which we probably oh, shouldn't no. have done. Um, but um, we made a couple of trips. We were requested from people from Harpenden, yeah. Yeah. Um, which yeah, was we, lovely. Yeah. And we went we to a couple of streets do. over there. No. Um, so yeah, that was what it was. It was like we didn't want to leave. Just stay in your area. We did, yeah, we yeah. wanted to keep it here. I yeah. mean, it really just did take. I mean, we were getting requests from people in Watford. Yeah. Um, I had a couple in Essex. Um, it was absolutely crazy. And I, I, well, going back to the actual the original idea, it was actually a friend of mine um, who DP's met. Actually, his name again. I can say his name. He lives up in Manchester, Gordy, yeah. and he had actually started it a couple of days before us up in Manchester oh, okay. in Sale, I believe it is, and. Bless them. I think they're still. They had in the end about twenty different yeah. different wow. superheroes, oh, they wow. and they raised for the, the Manchester Hospital. Okay. Uh, but the thing that was amazing was, and it's not belittling them at all. They only raised sort of about five or six grand, which goes to show that we only did LU two, yeah. and we raised seven and a half grand. And, and yeah. look at the size of LU two in comparison to the entirety of Manchester. Manchester that yeah. And that's what exactly. I'm saying. You know, yeah, I'm yeah. not belittling yeah. them at all. I think no. what they did was amazing, and they're still going. It's amazing, but yeah. it goes to show how this area, how Luton. With things like that, they and just together. come together, Absolutely. and uh, yeah, know, that's what Definitely. makes it so proud to come from yeah. this town, doesn't yeah. it? And that's honest? just yeah. LU two. Can you imagine covering? <laughs> and we wanted to, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, we did. wanted I know. to. And there were requests. We there were about. requests. Yeah. We get to do uh, LU one. We we started a little bit on LU one. That's it. Correct. We did, and do you know what? Got some good gains out of that. But it was most without doubt mostly LU two, and um, I just thought I always thought like back then that yeah, if we could have got the the permits for the other areas, oh my gosh, the amount we would have raised. Yeah. Really was because I mean, this town is so giving, especially in times of need. Like you know, I see it firsthand now. And back then, it, the, the town really came out and supported our cause. Um, the people that knew about it anyway, there's still people who didn't know. Those people that didn't know, and they yeah. they jumped on and they were pretty weird. There was one bloke that we were running down the road, and I remember. Um, it was just around the corner from here and he stopped us and sort of had a little laugh he had to kind of rub his eyes but he, he asked us to stand still for a second he put 20 pound in the bucket oh, we explained yeah. to him wow. you know fair but very trusting of him i mean like i say we just random people run yeah. around but yeah. um put 20 pound of his own money in the bucket sort oh, of thing so amazing. um but I, I just couldn't believe how it didn't fizzle out like even so bushmead was the last area we did in the lu2 bit and that really was sort of the last week before we had to go back to work yeah, yeah. and you, you'd think by after a while it'd sort of fizzle out but we then did, so we did Bushmeat, which was popular, very popular, amazing. But then what we said was, where there were so many sort of roads that had missed out, we'll do one final one, again, where it was started around the Telscombe Way. Mm. And it was chucking it down rain. I'll never forget, it was the last run we did, oh. um, chucking it down the rain. Oh, I don't know if you gosh, remember this, yeah, but horrible. there was still like so many people oh. out to see us again. You would not believe, um, like, do you remember like yesterday when it was all of a sudden just... Absolutely, like, yeah, bucketing it, it yeah. down. That's yeah. what it was like. I, yeah. I remember we got out of the car because we was going around in the car. We'd stop running. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it was like we're not running anymore. No. We're not running in this. No. I was completely so. We were drenched. We were yeah. drenched, but, but it, yeah. you kept going. You kept, we kept, you kept going. going. We kept I mean, going. Look, and how amazing is it to you know the amount of people you know obviously you're giving money you're raising money for for the check for the hospital which is amazing but how many people you made happy as well during yeah. such a oh, difficult absolutely. time. Um, everyone loves a superhero. <laughs> you know what? It's, it's, uh, it's, it's, hard, just, to, it's hard to really um, quantify that, I think, because when, when when we was doing it, I don't think we really realised how happy we was making No, people. you're just kind Absolutely. of in the moment and yeah. just going with, the, going with it. It was the messages that. after, wasn't it, yeah, from the parents and carers yeah. and whoever else, yeah. and, you know, saying uh, from the little messages we were giving. So when how it'd work is we'd sign I'd always reply back to have you got anything you wanted to say in particular you know mm. a lot of it was sort of you know can you make sure you get your homework done or your school work <laughs> done and yeah. you know can you yeah. make sure you look after your little brother or little sister and things like that wasn't it and the messages back were like they've really listened to you oh, they've really you know really thank really you so it, much yeah. and it's like you know we've literally been there sometimes only really about 10 20 because we have to then go we've got such a route and we're only allowed out for the well, however long we was allowed out in lockdown of the first bit was it half an hour you're not allowed, allowed out for no, long obviously right. um and yeah the messages were just oh, oh it was incredible and it just it? gives you that drive to keep going then as absolutely. well you, know, you really yeah. feel and really really see you're making such a massive difference absolutely yeah and, and what about the um i think you were there for that one we actually bumped into we were over on langford drive it was just over by Sotsie oh, park the and the nurse come oh. out 
yeah, and she's awesome. waving us down, mm. waving us down. She goes, you're all over our staff room. For, I think it's L&D. It was yeah, L&D. It was, yeah. She was from L&D, but yeah. she was obviously doing a house visit. Oh. And she goes, you're all over our staff room. All us <laughs> nurses are supporting you. Thank oh. you so much. And we were like, no, we're supporting you. Oh. Like, weren't we? It was just, honestly, it, it was so emotional. So cool Every, and we that got was, everyone, we, we got everyone we, to clap her. It was incredible. It was like, Almost like people just knew to come and celebrate this woman at that time because, mm. yeah, they were going for it. It was incredible, yeah, wasn't it? Our, five superheroes, our own superheroes. Exactly. Well, yeah, that's what yeah, well, it felt yeah, like yeah. a little bit, you know? You know a lot about like what was going on for them because you support them. That's like what you do, right? Yeah. So yeah. maybe could you like tell us a little bit about what you do and how you help? Um, yeah so as a charity we're there to support um just in the lnd alone over 50 wards and departments we support staff and patients um with items that are outside of nhs provision so things that wouldn't normally be covered so things that are nice to have and things that really do make a difference um so with me i work with schools and colleges and um, we have them supporting us and fundraising and with the money that they raise we're able to purchase equipment for for example for the children's ward mm-hmm. um so like a sensory um voyager um which is a piece of equipment that kind of distracts the children from yeah. actually why they're there um you know and without the fundraising that we get from the local community and the schools colleges um that wouldn't happen you know we wouldn't be able to make a difference Absolutely. like that so we can see the direct impact that that it has and yeah. it does that's it makes so nice. that makes you feel so yeah. warm that, so that really you is guys are doing that. and also during covid um there was you know the covid19 fund which is where your funds went to and that was for staff well-being so with the money that was in the covid fund we were able to um Kind of have two clinical psychologists for oh, you know for our staff because obviously what they were going for at the time absolutely what they saw it it was all you know horrendous yeah, um absolutely. so obviously for their well-being it's so important as well for them to to be looked after and um, we needed them there yeah, exactly <laughs> That's so so without them we wouldn't i've never known to... that where the sort of money went um uh but that is because we actually did a mental health thing as well because mental health to us is is massive um, you know, a few of us have suffered with mental health, oh, yeah. so mm. we're huge on it. And we actually yeah. did do, I think it was Mental Health Day when we were doing it, and we did do a big thing down in High Town about mm. it. Yeah. Um, but that just makes it even better, actually, knowing that that money that we sort of raised kind of went towards looking after the nurses, the mental health, and stuff like that, and being able to pay for people, professionals to come in. So that's yeah, yeah that's it's really good to know. Really, that's yeah. lovely. Yeah. Okay, really is. so we're going to go to a little break. All right, uh, we'll be back in a minute. And- um, yeah, we'll have some more conversation because this is nice. I'm, I'm enjoying this. I'm this enjoying this. <laughs> right, back in a sec. And we're back. Sorry about that. I just, um, you know, I just needed a bit of a break. It's, this is actually quite stressful. <laughs> it's, it's a little bit stressful. I don't know why. Yeah. Like, every now and then I remember that I'm talking into like a bike frame. You guys are as well. And then, oh, it gets in my head. Anyway, let's it's forget your first about one that. As well, so. yeah, yeah, let's forget about that. So um, I want to ask you. Because this is like the most important thing to me is like, why are you in Luton? Why do you like, do you love Luton? Um, do you like, tell me your desire towards Luton? Like, what's your attachment to it and how do you feel about it? Um, well, yeah, so I, I wasn't born in Luton, but my family, my, my dad was, so that's why we ended up coming back, back to Luton um, when I was 11. Um, so, yes, yeah, so I went to high school here, went to um, college here. Where was you born? Um, I was born in Germany. In Germany, yeah. really? Yeah. Wow. Oh, Sabina, of course, yes. that's a German sort yeah. of name. Wow. wow. Yeah. Sorry, anyway, carry on. Yeah, no, that's fine. Um, so, yes, yeah, so I've lived here a long time now, um, and it is. You, you know, it, gluten does get bad press, but actually, especially doing the job that I do now, you see the amazing things that people within Luton do. I mean, yesterday, you know, for example, we were at Chorney Girls. Um, they were doing their race for life. Those girls are incredible. They're absolutely yeah. amazing, raising an incredible amount of money. But just, you know, it's not just a the school. They use, the, you know, the whole school community, their families. They all come together to to help make a difference. So and did you go to Chorney then? Yesterday. That was your, no, but oh, no, I was didn't. No, what, no, what I, went to, to? I went to Lee Manor. Lee Manor, Lee Manor. Okay, cool. yeah. So why Chorney? Because yeah. you, you, like, are really heavily attached to Chorney from what I see. You do a lot of stuff with them. Yeah, so Chorney, Chorney Girls, um, through, throughout my role as a, a schools coordinator, um, I met with them pretty much when I first started my role, um, and they were one of the one of the best fundraisers uh, for, for us. Um, they raised lots of money for the breast cancer unit at yeah. the LED hospital. Um, so we haven't got the figure from yesterday yet, but it's it's looking pretty pretty good, pretty amazing, oh, um, so considering cool. considering today's climate as well. Yeah. Um, but last year they raised seventeen thousand pounds from from that one event. Wow, um, that's incredible. Yeah, with, I don't think many people know that. 
it, it honestly is I didn't. absolutely I didn't. incredible. Yeah, so you don't, no, that's no. the thing. Like, you no. don't hear things like that. I don't know why. No. It's really no, weird, that's it? why I think you're absolutely right, Spin. I think um, Luton gets a lot of bad press and it's such a shame. I think they jump on the negativity about Luton a lot quicker than they jump on the good things. Um, and I know we won't go into talking about the, the tabloids and the press and whatnot, but um, yeah, because you that's know. all that's all rubbish anyway. Bro. You <laughs> know what I mean? They, you know, they they pick a. It, we always get voted in a like worst places yeah. to live thing or whatever. And Agreed. every single time I look around at the places that are near us in, in that, and I've been to them places. There's some nice places there. It's just like it's just a hate list of yeah. uh, for no reason at all. It's like someone might have had a bad experience. I don't know what it is. I don't know why we get picked no. on. I think I think we're the butt of jokes because you know we do have some funny things that happen in this town, yeah. and there's some weird stories, and there are some pretty mad events that go on. Like you know, just look at our football stadium; it's really unique because it's literally built into the community. You've got where the away fans come in and out; they're coming basically through people's gardens. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's, it's yeah. brilliant. So, it's you know, brilliant. I can understand why people are a bit like off put by us, but if you spend a little bit of time here. You do really start to see like why this is a special place. Um, Absolutely, I mean, there's a couple of people. Um, again, I won't mention names, but very strongly opinionated people that have gone to social media and stuff that have become really famous. Obviously, they're from Luton, so they link that together and yeah. think that everyone from Luton is like that. Yeah. Um, when yeah. in actual fact, you dig, dig, well, as you do, DP, dig, and probably used to be in a dig deeper in Luton, and you find some absolute gems of people. I mean, we were lucky enough to go to some awards last year, oh um, my gosh, it was and amazing. we were voted for a couple of awards and won one, didn't win the other one, but wasn't about the awards for us it was just being in a room full of the most incredible people and the stories you hear mm. um and i'm sure it's been doing your job you must um see that sort of thing quite a lot which yeah. is just being in the presence of them people it's almost like being with celebrities yeah definitely but they're not yeah. known of no. and it's such a shame yeah. but yeah, they yeah. really are that's the salt it. of the earth people aren't Absolutely. they they're real yeah. deals so um yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, and they just that's a good thing to go on um, like so for you why did you decide to go into that kind of a role like what made you want to be that kind of person um it was well i completely kind of fell into the role um so my son he was born three months early um just suddenly born at 28 weeks um and cared for by the absolutely incredible team um the neonatal intensive care unit at the lnd hospital oh, that's absolute angels um yeah, honestly heard, sorry, yeah. they will remain forever in my heart they always will yeah. forever um so and you know because of because of them my my son's alive Absolutely. and that you know you can, how how can you be you know how can you say thank you it's just not enough I know. um so yeah so i decided i wanted to give something back so um myself and a best friend of mine we started fundraising for the unit um and all together over a few years doing various events um raised about twelve thousand pounds all together wow. that's incredible, for the unit. Oh, yeah. that's incredible. Well, am i right in saying it's one of the best in the country as well isn't it it's, the yeah it's a level three school. unit so it's a specialist unit so Some people unit. travel from from far, further afield as Absolutely. well too yeah. um, and that's one of the things as a charity we support we have um two parent accommodations as well yeah so there are parents who can't you know they don't live nearby so actually the fact that they can stay um, in either one of our bungalows or the house that was renovated a couple of years ago. Um, again, that was That's a massive where community I project. Came for the cup of tea. Did I even have a cup of tea where I went? From? That was just our, but that's that's the charity bungalow. Is that not the same that's place? not the parent oh, accommodation. Okay. No, so a bit further down the road, yeah. um, on that same road, there's a parent accommodation. That's the bungalow um, where parents can stay um, oh, overnight, hilarious. so that they're close to the unit. Because obviously, it. being close to their babies at that time, yeah. absolutely. Kind of such a I think time is really actually. Important. My uncle had a big part because my cousins as well, very similar story to yourself. Okay. Uh, um, my littlest cousin, again, I won't mention his name, mm -hmm. um, born very, very premature, a um, lot of health conditions, but uh, kept him alive. He's healthy now. You won't yeah. believe it. Yeah. Um, there's yeah. still a few issues, but generally, if you see him right, you'd think he's healthy. He's, he's incredible. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I think, yeah, my family members had a bit, it was called the big build, I think it was. And yes, done a that's big, exactly. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, the um, build. yeah so yeah, so they uh, all got involved, yeah. all gloves on. And, and again, correct me if I'm wrong, but it was all sort of voluntary volunteers coming in, it sort was. of giving up their mm -hmm. time. Yeah. Um, and again, I, I think it might have been in the paper, but it wasn't, you know, splash front page yeah. or anything, yeah. you know, yeah. it was sort yeah. of flipped to page seven or something, you know, yeah. underneath the cross crosswords and whatnot. Well, it hopefully, wasn't. Exactly. Hopefully, through doing this podcast, we are going to be able to elevate them sort of voices. Absolutely. Like, that's why mm -hmm. Sabine's, Sabine's here today, is because, you know, we've, we've had a great relationship so far with me working as Deadpool and 
you know, we've, we've done a couple of things together so far. Hopefully, yeah. we've got loads more to do in the Definitely, future. Yeah. We've got a lot more good to do. This yeah, town is absolutely. not up to scratch yet. We're, we're going to get in nice <laughs> and clean. surface, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. We're, we're going to smash it. There's a lot of work. But, um, yeah, no, I just I just think that this is, is so important to highlight that, like, this work is going on, like, because otherwise nobody knows about it. Because for whatever reason, even our local papers, you know, mm-hmm. it, it gets out there, but it doesn't get out there enough. Mm-hmm. Like, to be fair... Um, Luton News are doing a great job. Like they don't just like spew hate out on their paper. No. They they put a lot of really good stories out there. So yeah. I love Luton News. That's a big up to Luton News. <laughs> um, and to Tony, oh Tony, the photographer, he's he's a good guy. I love Tony. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, uh, the, I can't remember what I was saying. Now. You were just talking about obviously, just, you know, the people. I know a lot of people <laughs> want to be in the shadows. Um, yes, that you was know, it, yeah. but we want to kind of highlight who they are and sort of, you know, exactly. put them out there because what they do is just incredible and they do it daily, yeah. you know, um, and they, they need to be known, I think. Whether they w- want to be is different because I know yes. a lot of people, I know like yourself, DP, um, and probably yourself to be known, it was a bit like me when I was doing the, the superheroes. It wasn't about, you know, awards and it no. wasn't about being in the limelight or anything no. like that. No. Um, no. It, listen, it is lovely it is. to get it's a bit of recognition. Of course Definitely. it is. Yeah, but, um, proud. Of course you about, do, absolutely. It's about giving back and about, you know, giving yeah. back for, for appreciating everything absolutely. and, you know, the amazing people that, that are there and, yeah, making a difference and saving lives. I agree. You know? Exactly. So, agree. so, like, just on to what we was doing yesterday then. So let's talk about, like, what that event was actually for, like, who the charity was, the money was going to and what went on. So how about you take that? From okay, yeah. So um, so every year in October, um, Chorney Girls organise um what they call race for life so every year group so from year seven through to year 11 um, they run around their astro um 11 times wow. <laughs> 11 times yeah it was that many times it was wow. that many times yep yeah. each year group as well wow. <laughs> wow. That's incredible. yes my legs are a bit sore today yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i didn't do 11 times every year i have to say that <laughs> um but no so they're amazing you were there i mean the atmosphere yeah. is just incredible on the day and um, Nick Ponsonby, she's the deputy head. Of oh, Johnny what Girls. an amazing lady! Let's really? give a big shout oh. out to Nick Ponsonby. Oh, she's, she's she amazing. is amazing. Is she? Oh, the, the, she's just got such a big community spirit. Yeah, mm-hmm. she really yeah. has, and she cares so much about them kids. And mm-hmm. you yeah. see it in her social media. You see it when you meet her in person. She's just such a big character. Yeah. And a school like that needs a big character. Yeah. Because there's a lot of girls there who could be something, and if you haven't got someone to look at, and you can see directly in front of you you could like be like mm. you've got no hope so yeah. nick, nick uh her existing is just they they are so lucky to have her yes yeah. Really yeah. absolutely yeah. yeah with her with her support from um, miss dolan on the day as well who she's she's, oh, also, yeah, yeah. she's amazing um, so dolan. absolutely <laughs> um but yeah i mean and i've seen the assemblies that uh, miss ponsonby's done and she's just incredible the passion that she has is just oh, oh, it's just, oh, oh yeah. next not, year you have yeah, to come yeah, to one yeah, absolutely I, to one. I mean you were very well received yesterday at the oh, no, 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 was more, was more. Was they loved oh, they yeah. loved having you there I, I will say i did say yesterday i'll say it again now that when i went to Partridge high school um their children were a lot more disorderly shall i say yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i got oh. mobbed there and i got mobbed at Chorley, but Chorley girls they lined up and waited for a photo oh they, really yeah the partridge i was being pulled apart and my mind just, my costume was destroyed that day <laughs> <laughs> talking of partridge actually they um shout out to them because they uh also yeah, done a big school, um thing school. yesterday as they well did. i was there um, oh, yeah i went yeah, yeah. Oh, did you go I, to that I, as well? I went as well so in between i went and went to partridge and again absolutely amazing what they've done incredible isn't um, it all for one of their students alfie alfie i used to teach um, alfie actually so uh, you know? yeah i know alfie's family oh. um lovely family and you know he was a he was a lovely boy to teach um and when i found out the news a few years back it was absolutely yeah. devastating but yeah. I'll tell you what um last time i saw him i think this year last year um still smiling just still oh, in, yeah. incredible incredible yes. family incredible boy what they're doing though um and in raising this money again obviously yeah. sabine i'm guessing you're sort of right there and seeing it always just incredible yeah. absolutely incredible so yeah again Putridge high school um sure i actually have to do something that dp probably won't like um oh, no. but he has been nominated for an award um oh. so i have to i know you don't <laughs> like to talk about it but 
listen, you fully deserve to be nominated for it, but also I believe you're up against Putra Choice called one of them, which um, That's my old high school. It's incredible, oh, you know. Look, yeah, I'll tell people certain things. I know I'm an anonymous, but I think it's really important to mention certain things about me to let you know that like I am definitely a Luton boy. You know, <laughs> yeah, no, you're real. Living, yeah, you're, you're real. I'm not living out in I'm a real boy. Yeah, heritage here. Like I'm, I'm, gen I'm genuine from Luton. Yeah, Putchett High School is where I went. So to be, well, where me and Jack went, that's yeah. where we met. Yeah. Um, and, like, to be up against them in an award is, like, the biggest thing. I it's incredible. It. I yeah. can't believe it. I don't care. I don't want to win the award. I'd love for them to win the award. Or I can't remember what the other charity is. No, I honestly oh, no, haven't seen I'm it I'm going to look like a really bad guy here. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'll do a big shout out to you. Yeah, we will. <laughs> um, but, but, yeah, no, there's another charity then. Uh, I will just shut up now because I'm ruining myself. Anyway, <laughs> so um, so yeah, let's talk about something else. Yeah, let's yeah start. just well, just on Partridge <laughs> still though yesterday because yeah, yes. I was lucky enough to meet Alfie yesterday. I've never met him before. Amazing. I met him for the first time. What an amazing little boy. Yeah. Well, not a little boy anymore, is he? No. Too, you know, but oh, it was. I was just so touched to meet him. Actually, I had to really struggle to hold back the tears. I have to say, yeah, amazing. Just talking to him. Oh, he's just. An incredible boy, he's brilliant, and just seeing the support that the school had for him as well. Um, yeah, one yeah. of his friends, you know, chopped all his hair off. I saw support. that as well. That's oh, incredible. That's yeah. So um, oh. Again, I don't know his name, but it'd be good to shout out for him because yeah, I saw that shaved all his hair off, didn't he? Yes. Um, which actually, we I don't know if you remember, we did that in high school as well. Yeah. No. Uh, we all shaved our hair off to raise some money for um, I think it was for Luton Dunstable oh, Hospital. Oh, wow. um, yeah, we all <laughs> sort of had it. Our hair was quite important to us, but I mean, I've got none now. But uh, no, yeah. we had spiky <laughs> hair, and it all went. But it's that, true, yeah. That, um, <laughs> <laughs> that little boy I saw that Alfie's friend yeah that, that honestly you know again someone that it probably isn't highlighted enough but someone yeah. that fair play to him you know his, yeah. his hair probably meant a lot to him and yeah. exactly. he's donated it yes. was it the Prince's Trust, Prince's Trust was it, it was. so yes. yeah. incredible yeah. So absolutely Amazing. incredible so sweet. Sorry. Yeah. yeah okay so I think we'll cut to another break and we'll be back uh, I should really get some sponsors. How cool would that be to have some sponsors? Like, In the break. We'll be back with our sponsor. Here's <laughs> some sponsors. That would be good. Yeah, that would be cool. That's coming. Sponsorship. Up next. Oh, listen, anyone wants to sponsor <laughs> yeah. me? Names in the hat. Yeah, let's, let's talk prices. All right. <laughs> Hello, we're back again. What is this saying there? And we're back again. Sorry about that. I had a little bit of a problem. This is really new to me. You just like, I've spent the last four days on a laptop. I am not tech savvy at all. I have no idea what I'm doing. If this gets onto Spotify, then it will be a miracle. <laughs> it will be an absolute Pretty. miracle. Anyway, so we're back with Sabine. Sabina, sorry. I keep calling you Sabine. So right, everybody Sabina. does it. Everyone does it. Because it's got an E at the end. Yeah. So I think yeah, my parents just, you think you know, it's a silent just, E. So we're here with Sabine. Sabina. <laughs> Done it again. Brilliant. Sabina and Jack. Yep. And uh, Jack is going to talk some football. So sorry if you don't like football, but I love football. Jack loves football. And we, and, and so does Sabina as well, sorry. And we all support our hometown. So there's a big game coming up, isn't it? And that's why we have to talk about it, because tomorrow <laughs> is, I mean, there's no point playing it down. For me, personally, it's the biggest game of the season. Um, Watford, Luton. Um, over on their pitch um, and the form we've been in compared to the form they've been in I think it looks very very good for us mm -hmm. um, I'm, I've actually got a bet with uh, my mum's partner um, that Luton will finish above Watford um, at the end of the season I won't say what the amount's for but put it this way <laughs> I'm very confident in winning a good well, bit of money we are currently, sorry, I've just had to pull up just to be 100%. We're fifth at the moment. Yep. And what for the 15th? Exactly <laughs> oh, okay. right. It's, it's a case of mind the gap. Mind the gap. And if we beat them tomorrow, you know, uh, puts them, I think, in the relegation scary. battle. Yeah. If. <laughs> When we beat them tomorrow, thank you, Sabina. When yes. we beat them tomorrow, um, what do you think the score is going to be tomorrow? So I personally think it's going to be a two-one Luton win. I, I do think we're going to do it. I really do. What about you? I'm going to go three-one. Oh, that would be good. I think it's going to be a bit more tasty than that. I'm going three-two. Oh. Three-two. Yeah, Luton obviously, Luton obviously, to be sure, you know. But I, I think that they're going to have some fight back. Yeah. Because it's such a grand game. Oh, it's know, huge. Like, it's huge. I know they're not having a great time and, you know, great stuff there. But, like, you know, it's still going to, their players are still going to turn it on. Absolutely. Do you know what? This is like, the, and, you know, they probably don't have as much love for this game as us. Cause, you know, it means play. more to us because we've, yeah. you know, when you look at Luton Town Football Club and where they've been over the last sort of, well, what, 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 
16, 17, 18 years. I mean, even longer than that, but where they've been and, mm. you know, I, th- I think it means more to us. So that's why a lot of the Watford fans will play it down. Oh, it's just another game. And, <laughs> you know, they can do that all they want. At the end of the day, <laughs> it's the biggest game. We know that, it, you know, they cry themselves into the pillows when we be like last time we played them a couple of years ago, we beat them uh, one nil. And, yeah. They weren't happy. They weren't happy. It's as simple as that. So they're playing it down. But it's, it's, we are just, it means more to us, I think. We're more passion for our football club. Um, the Luton Town fan base is just, I'm going to forget when we went to Wembley um, back in, oh, I can't remember the year we went now for the Johnson's Bank yes, trophy. Yes, I remember that. And, uh, yeah, you know, we had to re- uh, request more tickets. We had yeah. to request more tickets. We sold our 40,000, 50,000. Mm-hmm. Had to request more and they won't give us more. Yeah. I think the whole of Luton was in London that day. <laughs> yeah. It was just incredible. So, you know, Luton's fan base is just um, it, it's to be part of that, you know, talking about Luton again yeah. um, in general, but to be part of, of that army, um, you know, is just incredible to be honest with you. The passion when you're down there, absolutely love it. Something it's, different. Oh, something different. Uh, do you know what I have something to say? Different. Like the most recent game I went to was uh, Huddersfield. Yep. And um, I went to the playoff uh, one last year, not away. I went to the home, home one, yep. Uh, when we drew one all and the Huddersfield keeper was just full of shit housery. He was, by the way, we're okay to swear. I just want to make that clear. We're, this is not, like, this is not a not PG podcast, okay? <laughs> Children, if you're listening, turn it off and go away. <laughs> and don't tell your parents that you heard a bad word. <laughs> no, no, seriously. Um, yeah, the, the Watford goalkeeper, he, no, the, 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 the Huddersfield goalkeeper, he was, um, yeah, he was taking ages on these kicks. He was picking the ball up and falling down and stuff, just dragging out every second that he mm. could. And by the end of the game, Luton fans were just foaming at the mouth. Yeah. <laughs> like you could just, the hate was just all so, so much for the guy. Yeah. The chance was beautiful. It was great. <laughs> and um, when I went to the one the other day, um, uh, the exact, he'd done the exact same thing. And I think it was like about the third or fourth minute, he's gone for a goal kick, put the ball down takes about eight steps back and just stands there and waits and then you can feel the anger rising like he's doing it again yeah. I can't believe he's doing it again <laughs> and then people start going mental yeah, it was brilliant absolutely brilliant you, love it you, you don't get that kind of same buzz in any other ground that I've been in no not at all and that's why it's crazy this season for Luton um, their away form has been 100 times better than their home form. So, yeah. you know, the Kenny's not an easy place to come to. It is, I would say, a fortress. But you, you, you're looking at statistics. It doesn't seem that this year. Yeah. But it's, it can't be an easy place to come to <sighs> and play at. I mean, you literally, the fans are right next to you. Yeah. You know, mm. the linesmen are always <laughs> for the linesmen. You know, I always <laughs> feel for the linesmen. They are yeah. literally within touching distance of the fans. And <laughs> Luton fans are obviously, I think, Going back to when we used to go when we were kids, though, you know, quite some naughty people that used to go yeah. down there. But now, <laughs> such a family a club down there now, and it is abs- now, yeah, oh, it's, it's right. absolutely incredible the way like, you know. You still get like you know, there's a bit of, of roughness, but it's mostly coming from the away fans. Absolutely. I see away fans being taken out all yeah. the time, mm. but I've never seen a loot no. being taken no. out. No. I'll happily bring my boys there and they're, you know, exactly. in any part of the ground, even even up in the corner with a riffraff. Mm. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. No, but, um, like, yeah, I just, I I think there's testament to the town, like, how the fans behave. Um, You know, obviously, yeah, we are always going to give the referee, um, like, trouble about, like, his decisions. We're always going to be, like, shouting him, stuff like that. But uh, overall, you know, we're, we're appreciative that it's just a game. At the end of the day, like Absolutely. we love it, yeah. but people aren't so passionate about it that Preds get arrested over no, it. No, I totally agree. More. I think it's a tough little town, but we're a sort of town that we don't need to show we're tough. We sort of just, yeah, you know, we have that know. mentality. <laughs> yeah, it, it, generally, it's how it feels. It's like, you know, very, I mean, we produce some of the best boxers in the country, you know, yeah. some of the tough sports. We've got some of the best people in oh, the country, you know, mixed martial trap, arts and yeah. stuff. Who are we doing one? Are we, who are we doing yes, it to? Yeah, Which this one? is for Linus. Linus, Linus yeah. Linus, 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 very good friend. Linus, Linus Adopio, yeah. Oh, my God. She is such a beast. Like, he didn't have a good good time out last time, but, you know, he's back on. He's back in the, in the gym, and I've been watching his stuff. He, look, he looks amazing. He'll be one of the best in the country. Like if a superhero the name. <laughs> Seriously, check him out. If you don't know who Lightning Linus is, and that's just going out to everybody, if you don't know who he is, get to know him. Get on YouTube. Look at his knockouts. Like, the guy is unbelievable. He, he's he's a slim guy, and you wouldn't think he could hit as hard as he hits because he's so good with the dodging, he'll never get hit. And when he does get hit, he sort of glanced it off, so it's never really hitting him properly. Yeah. yeah. 
he's, he's beautiful to watch. I, I, hopefully, we're trying to organise to get him on at some point. Right. Um, Jack knows him, and um, I've sort of talked to him over time, like throughout the, uh, doing this charity stuff. Um, so hopefully, we'll have him on at some point. Yeah, really nice, genuine guy as yeah. well. But again, uh, yeah, going back, so you know, we've got a lot of mixed martial arts people that perform at the top level, champions, belts, we've got a lot of boxers, you know, tough sports, and we produce some of the best. And mm. I think that's what, going back to the football, like I say, I don't think people need to prove they're tough anymore and act like idiots. I think the football club have done really well in getting all that out. And yeah. like I say, when you go down there, I remember I took a friend's kids um, to the first game and they got free Luton scarf each. Oh, yes. Little touches like that, yes. I think that's yeah. absolutely my, lovely. My son's um, want... football team, they yeah. went down and they got, they got a free they scarf. Got that. Yeah. I think that's yeah. incredible. That's incredible yeah. to be and honest they absolutely, with you. They still talk about it now. Yeah, there we go. Because oh, so it's the little things for them, isn't it? Really it? Is, you know? yeah. Yeah. So who, who does your son support? Is he a Luton fan or is he, does he have other yeah. allegiances? Don't worry, it's okay. I do, so it's, <laughs> that, it's fine. Um, both of them Luton Town, um, but the younger one, anyone who Ronaldo is playing for. Is <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Ronaldo fan, I like it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'll be yeah. like Luton. He what? says he's the third best player in the world. My son, the eight-year-old. Your old, son yeah. says that. <laughs> he's the third best player <laughs> in the world. I mean, he's off Behind. by a few positions. <laughs> he's probably quite down the list nowadays. <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah. Yeah, that's quite sad. Yeah. I know. I know. Do you know (laughs) what? Can I just actually sort of talk about Ronaldo? Uh, This might just fall flat like a lead balloon, but I find this really funny. I want to see if you guys find it funny as well. So, Ronaldo's celebration, Jack. Yeah. Do you know the Ronaldo celebration? Yeah, I do. I I mean, obviously, I work in the school. Can you make the noise that he made? Soon. Soon. <laughs> like that, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. I hear it yeah. all the time. Yes. Yeah. Now, what do the crowd do when he does that? They all they do it as well, well right? yeah. Now, can I make another sound like Sue? Yeah. yeah. Mm. Is that quite similar? Yeah. For me, the other day, I was watching like a Ronaldo goal or something. And the crowd goes soup, but I didn't hear it. I heard, it sounded like boo, like this. Right. This is the man that all he craves is fans' attention and adorning and love yeah. and respect. Mm. And I swear to God, the thing that he he's he's been chanting at is it sounds so much like, like a, a boo. boo. <laughs> it sounds so much like a boo, man. Like, and I don't think anybody's really realised no, that. I don't know the history of it. I don't know where it's no, come from, what it means or no. anything. Really but funny. I know it's probably not funny to other people. I think it's really funny that he's probably been booed every time he scores it, a goal. It could well be. It could well be. <laughs> it but kind I mean... of sounds like it. If you like, I mean, if you say it, then you know, maybe, maybe he. If some, I'd love to say it to him. Okay. He wouldn't believe it if you oh, told him anyway, would he? No, he wouldn't. Oh, no, he but wouldn't I would love it. it if I said it to him. Just plant that seed, and then every time he goes to do it, he's like. Oh. Yeah, he's going to be thinking about making food. Or... Just, just going off that, I'll tell you something funny, actually. I obviously, like I say, I've recently started working in the primary school again. Um, and at lunch times when the kids' school, they all do that celebration, okay, all of them. All they've actually asked, every, every single one of them have asked that at the end of the year on the field, can I do a big Sioux celebration? Yeah. That's, that's all they want. They want, really? you know, seriously, like when I've worked in previous school, it's like they want to race me or they want me to play football with them or something like that. They but they just want me to run and do that Sue oh. celebration. Well, there you go. There's a fundraising idea. So yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. how many Sues can we do in five <laughs> oh, minutes or something, yeah. you know? Yeah. Absolutely. Oh. No, definitely. That's great. <laughs> okay, Let's do it. Work on that. Yeah. Sounds brilliant. Let's do yeah. it. Um, yeah, no, you know, the, yeah, that was that was cool. We talking about Ronaldo. Going back to Luton, though. Um, so yeah, they're playing tomorrow against Woodford. Can you tell yeah. us the time and stuff, Jack? Uh, you know? I believe kickoff is twelve o'clock. Twelve o'clock. Um, it's on TV. I believe it's on the I Follow Only, which again, such no, a I shame. It's on Red um, as well. I don't. I, I don't know, but regardless, I think a game like that um, should be on main TV. Mm. I mean, it should be. I just, uh, again, it's coming back to my honest opinion that I just don't think Luton and Watford are sort of favoured um, by the big bosses and stuff is my honest opinion. Yeah. Again, going back to what I was saying about Luton, yeah. how it gets bad press. I mm. generally feel in the Sky Sports sense as well, you know, we don't really get much looking. We're on every now and then, yeah. I get that. Mm. And it's, it's upped over the years, but, mm. you know, when yeah, we were I mean, sort like of at our lowest time, when we needed money... We was at the pub and they had Ipswich Derby on. Yeah, League One game. Ipswich Derby on and Luton are playing Watford on Sunday and you can't fit them on. No, correct. That's absolutely mental. It, it just doesn't make sense. I can't believe that like BT haven't come along or like, you know, Amazon or somebody like, because no. that's a big game. It's a really big Huge. game. Mm. Maybe it's not big. I don't 
we live in a bubble. <laughs> no, it's, <laughs> it's, it's the biggest game of the year. Yeah, no, I, I know, but like, is it? I don't know. It's really no, hard it to say. I think like everybody thinks that their their rivals are it's the worst rivalry around. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I think I personally think that ours is, but you know, I'm probably not quite biased because I love this town. But, you know. Absolutely, yeah, no. A lot of people say Watford. Some people say the QPR game is the biggest one. Um, but, yeah, for me, Watford all day. And because mm-hmm. we don't play them every season, I think that just adds to it, if you see what I mean. Was we play QPR quite regularly and a few of the other teams quite regularly. But Watford, yeah, this is this is going to be good tomorrow. Yeah, so this time tomorrow, will we finish? Or... Absolutely. It'll be I think so. Absolutely. Yeah, we'll be yeah, we'll be yeah, three yeah, points finish. better off, basically. Yeah. <laughs> so nervous. Right, anyway, so, um, yeah, I think we've, sort of come to the end i think this has been really fun i've really enjoyed it but let's get some plugs out there yeah like you know about plugging do you know what plugging is? i'll be honest no no do you know what plugging is? <laughs> it's not a, it's not rude okay, okay that's <laughs> what i just you, what are we doing now? yeah so what's happening so plugging is this thing that i've learned about podcasting which is that people just basically like sell themselves of whatever they're doing do you know what i mean so okay. say if like you have a book that you wrote then this would be your time to now say, please buy my book. Yeah. Okay. Um, say if you've got a charity you want to promote, this is your time to do that. Mm-hmm. So on and so forth. Yeah. Okay. So this is what plugging is. This is what we're about to do. So Sabina, would you like to big up anybody, any charities, anything? Okay. Oh, absolutely. It has to be uh, Bedfordshire Hospital Centre. I was going to say, it like I mean, wasn't going <laughs> It's got to be. And it, you know, that it's something we, you have to. Um, yeah. So, yeah, if anybody wants to support their, their local hospital, so we cover Bedford Hospital and Luton and Dunstable Hospital as well. Lovely. Um, so, yeah, if anybody wants to help make a difference to their local hospital. Where can they um, find any... you on, like, what, what um, social media stuff and uh, yeah, so we're on numbers, all that sort of stuff? All social medias. Um, so fundraising at lbh.nhs.uk. That's our email address. Yep. Um, 01582-718-289. That's our telephone number. Okay. So use that, get in contact with us. We'd love to hear from you. Um, for me personally, I work with schools, colleges, nurseries, uh, youth community groups. So if anybody is interested um, and wants to help make a difference, then please get in touch and I'll be happy to um, come That's along and support your event as well. That on most things, isn't it? Sab Hazel. Sab Hazel. Sab Hazel yeah. most yeah. things. And then you see a beautiful picture come up and <laughs> you will want to click on that and help her out because she's such a lovely person. Um, <laughs> For me, I think, actually, Jack, is there anything you want to No, I would just obviously just say, please do get in touch with Sabina, because when we started, um, Sabina was one of the first people we were in touch with, and the help she gave us, I mean, we wouldn't even be in this right. position without Sabina, and that's yeah. the truth of it. So, honestly, <laughs> yeah, get in punch. touch. Sorry, doing. sorry, <laughs> um, but you, you threw me on a spot <laughs> with this plugging <laughs> thing. I, I mean, I've got no one to plug or whatever, <laughs> you know? So, uh, yeah, I didn't know, mate, that's not what I was thinking, but anyway. Um, <laughs> Oh, right, we, yeah, um, but no, oh, seriously, get oh, in touch with Sabina. Any, any, <laughs> any help that you can um, do, you know, even if it's a little idea, that's what ours was, you know. Um, yeah. but, but go with it, back yourself, go with it, and you know, yeah. and people like Sabina will actually give you ideas and you know, help you mold it into something that, that maybe has been done for, or not been done for, but give you the ideas. I'd imagine Sabina, correct yeah, me if I'm wrong, but not. you know, you've seen it all, yeah. so yeah. that's what I would say. Seriously, get in touch with Sabina, she's incredible, and what she does is incredible. So, yeah, sorry if I've thank you, Jack. taken no, 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 no. your no, bit. That's perfect, that's perfect. That's perfect. <laughs> I was just going to say thank you. I was going to say, without you and enabling us so much, like. I wouldn't be here. Oh. No. No, legitimately, I, I wouldn't have had this idea to it's do true. this. I, I didn't know that this was even an option until Jack started this group with two other friends, and um, that was Spider Man and Iron Man, just yeah. for the record. Mm-hmm. Um, and then when I got invited into it, you know, without your help and your advice to these guys, they wouldn't have been able to start the group they wouldn't have raised the amount of money they did and i wouldn't exist like I, and i wouldn't have done all of the things that i've then done like so you know without you there's a lot of uh less good that would have happened in oh, this time. absolutely so you are, you are the that sprouted the great oh, you are. you're no, the one in the shadows. <laughs> the one in the shadows you're the one in the shadows um like we were oh. saying earlier definitely with it that everyone will see deadpool or batman or whatever but you're the one in the well, background know that, you know origin story it's sabina yes. oh. <laughs> and yeah. you know I, I appreciate that and thank you so much and you know 
myself I've got an incredible team as well so the charity team are, are all amazing people yeah. um, and all do great things so yeah I wouldn't be able to function without the team Big up um, to Bedfordshire Hospital and Charity yes or no yeah. But a massive thank you to you guys because look at the difference that you're making still every mm -hmm. day to the town, to the community. Just think how many people you've made smile and a difference that you've made. So you you, you guys are amazing. So oh, thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you. And I feel so honoured to be on your first podcast. <laughs> so yeah. thank you. Yes. Oh, really I brilliant. had to read the message twice when I saw it. That's me on the yeah. first one. So yeah. thank yeah. you so well, much. Makes sense guys to have been there, doesn't it, on the first so, one? So yeah, um, really yeah, I just want to say quickly, I am fundraising um from monday the 24th until 29th i think it is the saturday um i'm gonna be out in town outside primark and hsbc shaking my thing like i always do um so please come and get a photo and donate to my chosen charity which is each office at the moment but do not think that i'm not here to help out bedship hospital charity <laughs> because we're going to come up with some ideas of stuff that we can do together to Absolutely. generate some funds for them as yeah. well um, so yeah, that's it. Uh, thank you very much for coming, you two. Um, Jack, my my co-host. <laughs> this is a, the start of a journey, my friend. Absolutely, no, <laughs> very excited. Hopefully, it's going to be a good journey. Let's, let's like patch up again at some point. We get Sabina on again. Absolutely. When yeah, we've definitely. got some plans and stuff that we're going to do, we can promote some other stuff. And, uh, absolutely. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, amazing. See, see where the wind blows us. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Right. absolutely. Um, thank you. Yeah, love thank you very you. much. Thank you very much. Love you too. Love to all. Love Luton.